India is poised to become a major industrial power in the coming decades, for which self-sufficiency in primary metals is a prerequisite. Rampura Gucha Mines, which is the largest and richest lead zinc deposit in the country, is ideally placed to fulfill the demand requirements of the economy. But this needs to be done with little disturbance to the environment. And who knows it better than Hindustan Zinc Limited, which has more than 30 years of experience of eco-friendly mining in the country. Rampura Agucha, an eco-friendly mine. Hindustan Zinc Limited knows how to best use nature's gifts and firmly believes in the adage that clean air, water and soil are not only a gift from our forefathers, but what we owe to our children. Hindustan Zinc Limited is committed to social and environmental consciousness. Indian lead zinc industry has witnessed a prolific growth after incorporation of Hindustan Zinc Limited. The Rampura Gucha mine has contributed significantly to this growth. Located in Bhilwada district of Rajasthan, about 72 kilometers south of Ajmer, Rampura Gucha mines boast of one of the richest lead zinc deposits in the world. With a total metal content of about 15%, the Rampura Gucha mines commissioned in 1991 with a production capacity of 3,000 tons of ore per day, was expanded to a capacity of 4,500 tons per day in 1999. The mine is poised to grow and improve further on all fronts to become one of the world's best lead zinc mines. The period since inception of the Rampura Gucha mine has been extremely significant for the environmental and economic development of the region. From a bare desert landscape, this semi-arid region in the dry state of Rajasthan has been transformed into a lush green pocket harboring more than 2.5 lakh trees. Rampura Gucha Mines has mining leasehold area of 1,200 hectare, out of which only 850 hectare has been acquired for mining purpose. An additional 74 hectare has been acquired, which has been developed as a township, 8 kilometers from the mining area. Hindustan Zinc Limited has launched various schemes for protection of the precious environment around its mines. The schemes have been integrated into the production activities so as to make all mining, beneficiation and auxiliary operations environment friendly. Wet drilling operations are carried out in favour of dry drilling operations to prevent dust particles at the open pit mine site from getting airborne. The level of ground vibration during blasting is kept well below the limit by controlling maximum charge per delay and by adopting other measures. Each blast is monitored with respect to ground vibration and instantaneous noise levels using seismograph. A number of state-of-the-art measures have also been introduced at the mining site to check air pollution. Hall road dust is suppressed through regular sprinkling of water through an elaborate system of sprinklers. Crushing of mine door is completed in three stages. In the first stage, ore from mines is crushed in primary crusher to less than 150 mm size. In second and third stages, this coarse ore is then crushed in secondary and tertiary crushers with closed circuit screening to produce fine ore of less than 16 mm size. During the process of crushing, a lot of dust is generated, which can be harmful for operators and the environment. To prevent this, 
a number of measures are taken. Water is sprinkled through nozzles at the time of ore transfer to the primary crusher. Venturi scrubbers are installed for collection and recycling of dust. Outlet air from Venturi scrubbers with very low dust concentration is emitted through tall chimneys. Fine ore is stored in closed fine ore bins to prevent dust from becoming airborne. In the plant, every small detail is taken care of, including provision of covers for all conveyors to prevent fugitive dust emissions. Fine ore is subsequently subjected to wet grinding in rod and ball mills before undergoing froth flotation to produce zinc and lead concentrates. Automatic controls have been incorporated in the grinding and flotation processes. The lead and zinc concentrates are produced in the form of slurry. These are then thickened and filtered and the water recovered is recycled back to the process. Moisture content of 7 to 8 percent is maintained in the filtered concentrate to reduce dust generation during handling and transportation. To avoid loss of concentrate on route to smelters, dumpers lined with fiber reinforced plastic are used. These are covered with tarpaulins during transportation to avoid loss and consequent pollution. Truck washing systems to trap concentrate sticking to wheels are also utilized. The material left after recovery of lead and zinc concentrates is known as tailing. The thickened tailing slurry is pumped for disposal into a lined tailing dam. While the solids in the tailing settle down, clear water is accumulated on one end of the tailing dam from where it is pumped back to the plant for reuse. An effective zero discharge is maintained. A tank of 5000 cubic meter capacity has been constructed to capture and recycle accidental spillage overflows and miscellaneous discharge from various sources within the industrial area. A submersible pump operated through automatic level controls is used for pumping of the collected water to the tailing dam. An oil and grease trap is also installed at the head of this tank. The water management system at Rampura Gucha Mines is designed to be a foolproof system of water capture and reuse. There is no physical loss of water used in the process. In addition to preventing pollution, this helps in a more efficient utilization of water, which is a scarce resource in the area. For each ton of mined ore, four to five tons of waste rock is generated. Efficient waste dump management is being practiced at Rampura Gucha Mines from the very beginning. Systematic dumping of this waste at earmarked sites within the mining area is carried out. The dump has been planned for four lifts of 10 meters each with an overall slope of 27 degrees to minimize the entertainment of dust. Screen plantation has been developed to reduce visual impact of waste dumps. Plantation is also being carried out on the inactive slopes and benches of the dump after proper grading. Garland drains and collection ponds have been constructed for collection and recycling of runoff water. At Rampura Gucha Mines, a lot of attention has gone into development of green belts even before the start of actual mining operations in 1991. A lush green belt has been developed to reduce any negative fallout of mining activities in consonance with Hindustan Zinc Limited's tradition of caring for the environment. The objectives of Green Belt Plantation include capturing particulate emissions, attenuation of noise, to act as screen plantation, soil stabilization and to increase aesthetic appeal. Regular monitoring of various environmental parameters is also carried out at Rampur Agucha Mines for evaluating the success and efficacy of various control measures. Corrective measures are initiated whenever required based on periodic reviews at various levels 
to prevent further pollution. Adequate medical and health facilities have been provided to cater to primary health problems and for monitoring of occupational health. Medical facilities are also extended to neighboring villages. Residential township developed for the employees also boasts of a good green belt including decorative and fruit bearing plants. Rampura Gucha Mines has also transformed the lives of hundreds of villagers in the region. There has been a significant improvement in the socio-economic condition of local people. Today, they have access to safe drinking water, schools and primary health care and most importantly, hope for a bright future. As a socially responsible entity, Rampura Gucha Mines has taken up various continuing social welfare measures for the local community like free water camps and supply of water during periods of drought and most recently aid to flood victims in Bhilwara district. The old Rampura village was shifted to a new site not very far from the original settlement. Rehabilitation package provided to the villagers included land and assistance for construction of houses and employment to one member of the displaced family. Apart from these, all infrastructural facilities were also provided. With an increasing pressure on natural resources and a corresponding increase in public awareness, more and more environmental legislation is being enacted. However, Hindustan Zinc Limited does not warn a world full of legislation but a community with a conscience. At Rampura Gucha Mines, Hindustan Zinc Limited is committed to being a conscientious corporate citizen.